roster. And oh no, it Fumble looks like Ayami. the Fumble Ayami. Ghost Ayami tossing the flag off the map. All four dead for Carbon. Let's go back to straight ripping. We now see the two guys you were talking about, T squared and Snipe Down. They both have sniper rifles top middle. And check them out working together. You got Snipe Down controlling the top with his sniper rifle. While T2 is just starting to get set up now. He's getting shot at, but that's okay because Snipe Down has his back. And more importantly, his teammate, LMA Warrior, is about to put in the tying flag cap. Wow. Check that out. The second Straight Ripping gets control, and this is what other teams have told me, the second you give Straight Ripping control, they capitalize and they win games because of it. Straight Ripping definitely impressive in that showing. We're going to be jumping on board here with Snipe Down from Straight Ripping. He's got the sniper rifle trying to stay alive in the back of his base. And straight ripping, just so effective with these setups. And you know, a lot of that is due to their great strategies created by El Might Warrior and crew. And fuck it, it's funny that you sit there and you talk about strategies being created. I, I wonder how important it is for these guys to stay innovative in this game, if they continue to learn more and more and be, stay innovative and stay on top of different strategies in order to bring them to these competitions. Well, next thing you know, as we were talking to El Might Warrior in our interviews leading up to this event, we said, you know, we've created a lot of the strategies and a lot of the teams have been copying it. So after talking to LMA, after talking to Snipe Down, they say we always have to be constantly evolving and just outclassing, outsmarting our opponents. And they're trying to do that here against Carbon. They now have all the momentum in this game. Snipe Down's got the sniper and Elmite Warrior pushing in for a second flag, this time with the rocket launcher in his back pocket. All the momentum, all the power weapons, all the control right now. We're going to see a flag being taken out. And this is absolutely huge. Like I was saying before, straight getting control, just totally capitalizing. All right, but a big play there by Nated and Shockwave. Nated took down all of the shield there from Elmite Warrior, despite Elmite having the rockets, and then Shockwave was able to clean it up and then get the big flag return. So it now looks like Shockwave and the rest of the Carbon crew trying to turn that momentum back in their favor as Captain Anarchy is going to pick up another kill top middle. And once again, I got to drive home this point. We have never seen Captain Anarchy play better in MLG, even dating back to his days in the 2006 season. This is by far Captain Anarchy's best tournament. I can say the same thing about Shockwave. Maybe it's not best tournament ever, but this is his best tournament this year. All right, well, right now, Shockwave's going to be taken down. Same thing with Captain Anarchy. You see them sitting in the middle. Those two have been working together. Meanwhile, Ghost Ayami and Nated, they have really been flowing just back and forth. Nated was just taken down. You see his screen in the bottom right corner there. Meanwhile, he's looking at his teammate's screen to see what's going on, and he's going to know exactly what to do coming off of his respawn here. Yeah, keeping his head in the game is very important. But it's funny as we check down on Shockwave there, he's still rocking the Ghost Ayami t-shirt, making sure it still brings him more luck. It was working last night, you know. Oh, and one shot through Ghost Ayami's shoulder. Ghost Ayami getting the kill for two squares. But hey, a little teamwork never hurt anyone. Sometimes it kills you. Oh yeah, what's going on, Jib? That is up here in the booth bucket. Nexi Farouk, we are watching one of the best series to date. It is the winner's bracket finals between Carbon and Straight Rippin, our number one seed and heavily favored team here. Favored? Yeah, I can't even talk right now. I'm favored. getting excited. We're watching, though, as Straight Rippin is pushing in huge. They're going for a new flag attempt. Meanwhile, we got Legit with the sniper rifle, and he's trying to spawn camp. And check out that roll change. You saw a snipe down in T-squared sniping early. Now you see Legit picking up the flag while snipe down running flags. Yeah, that's right. Snipe down, you know, he said he never uses the BR. Instead, he's always just rocking the sniper rifle. T-squared was looking to put that flag in, but he could not do it. And so now the flag's still down. No one from straight ripping in position. We're going to snipe down. He's got three seconds to get to that flag. And no! The flag is going to go back just in time. Super huge clutch play there by Carbon and Shockwave stopping another flag attempt here from the straight ripping squad. Did you see the disappointment in Snipe Down's face? They had the flag all the way back to their base. He got on Swan, did everything he could, but it just wasn't enough. Well, the Rockets are down, Snipe down, disappointed, but T-Squared and crew are staying focused. Uh, you gotta love that. These guys, they have the experience. They know not to get down on themselves. One of the least emotional teams on the circuit. You gotta love their cool and collectiveness in this game. But all four dead once again. We're going on board with Shockwave. He is having an outstanding game, Nexi. That's right. He's been having an outstanding tournament. I can't say it enough. Oh, 
and I take it back. Shockwave's stinking. We're going to Captain Anarchy. He's got a sniper. Shockwave, of course, My tossing the flag dropped. off the map. That was a crucial mistake. And it's the second time this game. You can't be happy if you're on the Carbon Squad right now. The first time it was by Gosiami. Shockwave making a mistake of his own, but he's trying to make up for it. Now moving a second flag. He's only got two teammates alive, and they're both at his base. But Shockwave doing an amazing job to get the flag all the way back towards his base. Nate is going to try and rally this one. Gosiami waiting in case Nated dies, and there it's Ghost Ayami, and he's got to look out from the oh. sniper across the map. This time it's T squared being clutch, and there we get the flag return from All Might Warrior. Wow, these two heavyweights duking it out. Both teams trying to out clutch each other. That time it went in the favor of Straight Up, and huge play out of T2 and Elamite. That was absolutely absurd. And you know what? Something else that was absurd that all of you guys missed. Next, he's been chewing gum while commentating. The gum flew out of his mouth. He caught it in his hand, put it right back in his mouth mid-sentence. Meanwhile, Straight Ripping was trying to move the flag. It was, it was sick. All it was time awesome. one -to -one. You know, that, that's like a life montage moment, you know? Oh, let's not talk about my life montage. <laughs> it was freaking that's awesome, dude. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> all right. I'm glad you liked it. And yeah, Mom, you caught me. You busted me. I did get the MLG tattoo last night. I'm sorry. It's going away after Thanksgiving. You don't have to be sorry. You're right. It's awesome. It's, sick. it's freaking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> and there we got Nated. He's going down low. He's got Shockwave pushing up top middle, but he's got to look out because Legit and T-Squared are going to be gunning for him. Three minutes left in regulation time. After the 15-minute mark, we are going into sudden death. The first flag will win, but it'll be interesting to see whether either of these teams can capitalize and score a flag before that 15-minute regulation time limit. You know, I got to give credit to Nated and Resta Carbon right now. Shutting down Snipe Down. Every time Snipe Down moves into position with his sniper rifle top center, it seems like there's one, at least one Carbon member there to take him out, especially Nated. I mean, yeah. he's got to be a focus when you, when you, when you go on and you think about him playing straight ripping. You gotta definitely watch out for Snipe Down because he's so sick. And right now, another player is heating things up as Captain Anarchy. He's got the triple coming. Oh, nice evasion there by Elmite, it looks like. Elmite juking him out, but meanwhile, Shockwave running a flag right by him. And this is one of the things that Carbon was criticized for in the past. They said nobody was really playing objective. You have to tell each other to do it. But now you're seeing Shockwave step it up and grab flag while the rest and of his teammates are making plays. Finally, Carbon being able to put in one of that flags and straight ripping. They stopped him the last two attempts, this time unable to do it. Carbon now up 2-1. to one. The first team to score three will win it. But there is only 1 minute 47 seconds left on the clock and straight ripping is running out of time. We're jumping on board with Nated from Team Carbon. He still spawns slaying with the sniper rifle. Carbon really just pushing straight ripping around in this first game. I think Nate is doing huge things for the Carbon squad right now. He's been top center the whole map, just keeping straight ripping at bay. What do you do when you have a distraction like that besides get capped on? I don't know, and it's not just Nated. All four members of Carbon just constantly pushing oh. in. But Nated is the one taking faces at the moment with the sniper rifle. All they have to do right now is hold off straight ripping for a minute and ten seconds. But I gotta ask you, Nexi, do you push back and get in a, de in a no, defensive position never. or do you keep the pressure on straight? You better charge your brains out. Get in their base, get that flag out, because getting their flag out is more important than sitting back and waiting for them to come to you. All get right. aggressive, always. Well, one player who continues to play aggressive, Captain Anarchy staying alive, top middle, being charged by three members from straight ripping. And now he's going for the straight ripping flag. I don't know if I agree with it, but his teammates are set up perfectly for this third and final flag capture. Is now don't statement right here? Do not drop the flag, Captain Anarchy. That's all you got to do. Go stay on me, picking up a huge beat down there. And now oh, he's catching the double the killing, spree. killing spree. And he's going for the third and final flag. That may be the moment of the match if Karma goes on to win it. We will have to wait and see. And Ghost Yami just put it in. Wow. Game over. Carbon, everyone. That is the Carbon that we are used to seeing. When did they decide to show up? Uh, apparently this weekend. <laughs> so Carbon now up 1-0 to zero over straight rip and Farouk. You look shocked. I, I definitely am shocked. Actually, I was checking out my stats here. And I think this is the first time straight ripping has been down in a series. For this, for this weekend. You know, yeah, this is uh, straight ripping. They 3 0 their first round, and then I think it was a close 3 2 against Instinct coming into this winner's bracket finals. But check out these stats. 
you know, nothing super flashy, but needed going a big positive four. He was catching the headshots. Ghosty, I mean, he went negative one, but he was so clutch at the end there, getting the headshot, double kill, killing spree, putting in the flag, and that was just naughty. So straight ripping down one game to zero against Carbon. The first team to three will advance to the championship match. And guys, I think we're coming back with game two right after a quick commercial break.